Shoo! What's going on, folks? Today is the day we are going to be fully renovating my abandoned nuclear missile silo. We've got to go down there. There's junk everywhere that we've got to move out. We got to clear it out. We got to throw it away. We got to move it across the room and get it completely open space. So then we can frame in a bathroom. We're going to put in a shower, a toilet, a sink. We're also going to build a full kitchen with an island and cooktop. We got to paint the entire thing. We got to put floor in the entire thing it's going to be a massive undertaking but at the end of this project we should have a fully livable underground house that is nuke proof we'll see you guys down there Shoo! and we are in the missile silo so this is the living quarters if you guys are new here you've missed a ton of other episodes of crazy stuff that we've done here but this is the actual underground living quarters that the people lived in, the, the workers lived in back in the 60s that controlled the nuclear warhead that was stationed here. And they would live in this area and then beneath us was the control room. But today's objective is to get this room completely done and livable with a full functioning bathroom, full kitchen. At the end of this, I mean, we're talking TV projector, beds, couch, tables, again, fully livable. So the first thing we gotta do, we got Beefcake Construction Crew here. N Nate's excited. Excited. He's ready. He's ready to rock and roll. We got to get all of this stuff because this is where we want the bathroom. All the plumbing runs under here. We want the bathroom over here. So step number one is take all of this stuff and move it over there. Nice and cleaned up. This area is where the bathroom's gonna go. I think we're redoing a bunch of stuff now. We're not gonna put the kitchen on top of the bathroom to the side, which is the original plan. But right here, we've got nine foot on this back wall. We're gonna leave that curve wall because there's no way we're framing a curved wall. We're gonna leave that and it's gonna go five feet this way. And you're gonna walk through the door and you'll have the sink, the toilet, a shower. And then the kitchen is gonna go further that way. So we wanna be work smarter, not harder. So instead of walking all the way down the steps, as you guys saw how far that was, with a bunch of two by fours and lumber for framing, we figured we might as well use gravity. The old hatch. Use the escape hatch. So you do the you do the you honors. Do I did it? the last oh, one. God. It's kind of scary. It, 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 a lot scary. happens. A lot. It's scary. You basically pull the pin and jump like a frag grenade, and then it all just swings it and dust comes it's every. Heavy. This whole thing is held up by a screwdriver. But it, it's it's a two it's a two tier deal. It's not just one. That swings and then yep. thing. So this all right. Thing. You think we can do it? Like okay, quietly? Yeah, we'll well, there's no fun in that. Oh, okay. Just let her rip. Watch your noggin. All right. One, two, three. There it is. That thing's aggressive. All right, bring down the lumber. How's that going? Yeah, one at a time. One at a time. <laughs> nice and slow. Oh, yeah. Easy does it. All right, there's one. Well, we've got all this lumber, and we're going to drop it through the escape hatch here and then get to framing. Stay tuned. thing bathroom completely framed i mean that was it's like not even 10 30. Yeah, i think that was maybe like an hour hour and a half pretty pretty dang quick we got the door on this side ready here to uh cut that out walk in here boom sink toilet shower is going to be kind of in this corner so we're right now we're discussing yeah look at 1999 when they were out here renovating this thing we were discussing trying to obviously anchor that so we're going to get some stuff to get into the concrete and support this and there's a gap here 
Um, we're gonna try float, you know, floating the drywall over so there's not a huge gap, but there's too big of a gap here. So we'll have to put some blockers of some sort to get the drywall. So we're gonna now work on basically anchoring this thing to the wall so it can't move. And then we're gonna just start to drywall. And then we gotta lay out the kitchen. So the kitchen's next. We gotta put the kitchen over here completely changing our plans now and we're starting from scratch before we're gonna put the kitchen back here so if we were uh if we were filming like cooking that would be you have two feet of countertop that'd be here and then you have an island and i'm chefing and all your uppers are here it would look great we think it would look better though over here so when you enter you see the kitchen and we thought well what are you gonna put on this wall back here guns a lot of guns <laughs> Your, na your new name's Drywall Dan. Me? Yeah, you're right. on dry. You're, you were tri Trim Timmy over there at the, the cabin. Now you're Drywall Dan. I'm but not we, sure if that's a promotion or it, a uh, demotion. Well, take it however you want. But we got the bathroom uh, drywalled in on this, and I'll give you guys a look here. Look at that. We're cruising. It's noon. We've only been here for four hours or so. We've already got that done up. They're going to drywall the backside, drywall the front side. We're leaving the inside undrywalled for just right now because we still have to run the plumbing, which the plumbing has to we got to remove that tub and run it under here and bring it up here. But we are going to start, well, since we've got crews here, we're going to start framing in the kitchen. Uh, we did completely, since this morning, completely did, redid this entire design. And the kitchen now is going to be over here, back on this wall. So we got to frame in a, is it, are we doing a 12 footer or 11.6-ish? Uh, I think 11.6 back wall. 11.6 back wall. So we're going to frame in an 11 foot, six long wall, just like that one. That's a 10 footer, so we'll go a little bit longer. We're gonna frame that in, set that right there. Then we're gonna build an L. Brad the Builder's gonna be excited because we're gonna have a walk-in pantry, all right? He, he loves walk-in pantry. So we're gonna put a little walk-in pantry here in this corner. Since since we're framing on a circle, we have to like, every once in a while you have to kind of square everything up. So it, it wraps, it's gonna go like boom, boom, boom. It's gonna have rigid sides, if that makes sense, uh, in corners and seams. So anyways, enough talking. Let's get to framing the kitchen. backdrop of the kitchen 12 feet okay don't hey don't don't look there we didn't have any 12 footers so we made it work uh but then we got all this a lot of this drywalled uh in here i gotta show you our, our little blocking system extra support you got one two three four five hey, show from the outside it looks better does it look it good from out what's from it look like from oh you see you wouldn't even tell. know nope. you wouldn't even know yeah let me show from back here this looks, this looks nice now we got a completely framed in doorway. I will say, I got the dimensions of the bathroom requirements from Brad the Builder, and he's never built a really small bathroom, I don't think, because this is a big bathroom. Now this might be standard for Brad's luxury homes, Yeah, but I've definitely had smaller bathrooms. No, for, I was like, the smallest we can get, because we're not trying to take up space, but listen, I don't regret it. I appreciate it, Brad, because making an extra big will allow room for maybe a little linen closet, uh, places for towels, which won't be bad. A lot of stuff on here. Yeah, I mean, because we got... We're leaving this. I think it's cool. I think it adds, it adds to it. It'll get painted for sure. But I, I, I like all this stuff. I wouldn't yeah. even, i just leave it. Yeah. Even Looks like good. The drywall coming in here, just leaving the bolts like yeah. exposed. Just yeah, yeah. So we're not going to drywall the inside because we still have to do the plumbing. We, look, we already got electrical. Joe's already on the electrical duty. So we're going to run run the power here. Your shower's going to be here. Toilet, your sink. It's big though. This is big, dude. It's, it's going to be nice. And I'm glad we made it big because now that we're moving the kitchen over here, if we made it this big and then put the kitchen here and it got really small, 
I'd be upset. But now that we're moving the kitchen over here, it's gonna be perfect. So this little corner, so that's where that's gonna go. There's gonna be a wall here, and then there'll be a door. There's your door. A little, a wall like this. Yeah, 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 like that. So we got a walk-in pantry. So you'll walk in, and this is how big it'll be. I mean, big. So we're making, I feel like we're really maximizing the space, giving, given the fact that we're working with a circle, um, which we've never done before, but you're just gonna have a big pew gats. wall, huh? Yeah, gats I know, all, all pews up on that wall walk-in closet, pantry, and then kitchen. And then what we're not sure on, which we'll figure out at some point, is do we want the theater and the couch here, or do we do a dining table, put the theater and the couch there, and then the beds back there? That's kind of what I'm leaning towards, but we still have that entire side. We're not, we're not framing anything over there, but to lay it all out, so far it's looking good. One problem, we ran out of the lumber. So we'll see you guys up there. You're telling me. Oh. You're telling me. Spent all, uh, grinding that down. Did you even for it nothing. Through? Oh, he did right there. <laughs> really? <laughs> for nothing. Out, well, that's out of the way. All right, that lumber is here. Fun. Let's build the kitchen. Well, you can tell it's the next day. We got here, we got started, we got to work. We initially started with cleaning up all the mess. We got everything up and off the floor. Um, last night we took off early, but Pop Beefcake, Uncle Beefcake, and Joe the Electrician stayed and got a bunch of work done without us. They got all of that, which that's got all the new wiring. You see, we got all new wiring here. And you can see the main that was dangled above the bathtub is now secured to the ceiling. It's no more uh, little electrified bath. Uh, incidents. Um, and so all that got done. The pantry got framed up as you guys saw that and they drywalled a little bit of that. And then we, they finished up the wall that's over there where the refrigerator is going to go and got all that kind of tied up. And then we showed up here this morning, like I said, and we cleaned up, we moved some stuff around. And then what we did is we actually framed in the shower here. We got the, yep, we're getting the electrical done. We got the shower framed up. And then over here in the kitchen, we got all the drywall put up and we're working on taping and mudding. And as far as I know, drywall is just about done. Besides what's in the bathroom, the left is inside, the bathroom. inside the bathroom. And other than that, drywall is pretty much done. We're gonna let it, uh, let it dry, finish electrical, running the wires, and we should be in business. But Brad the Builder's coming. He's gonna come because I called him early and I said, hey, we changed the plans, we put the kitchen over here. And he's like, wait, 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 before you do anything, 
I need to come down and see it. So he's actually gonna bring us lunch and he's gonna come down and we're gonna give him a quick little tour, show him everything that we've done and make sure it's Brad the Builder approved before we continue. I don't think there's really going any, can't really go back. can't really go back now, so hopefully he likes it. Let's hope. What do you think? Hey, this is turning out a lot nicer than I thought. Is it? Right in there? No, you're good. You oh, look, good. You look great. Well, I, uh, it's, it's nice and uh, comfortable down it here, is. Andrew. It how, is. How, how nice is it up top? It's wind is blowing 40 miles an hour really? and snowing. So we I wouldn't guess even know. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. If you turn the lights off, it's midnight. But yeah. it's uh, nice and warm. Yeah, I came downstairs. I mean, it's comfortable. I, I'm, I really, well, it's a total disaster over there, but what, we don't talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. So it's fitting. But, but this looks uh, nothing like our plans. So what do you, what's your well, initial that's reaction? That's the first thing here? I thought when I came in. I'm like, well, why did they move everything? And then I, now I know why. It makes sense because you have this huge, big cylinder holding up the whole silo, right? Yep. And that doesn't move. And we had originally thought we could put the bathroom behind the kitchen. But if you did that, you would be too far yeah, out. It'd be, I didn't want it to be squished. Right. So, so we slid the whole thing yeah. that way. Oh, that, that, that makes sense. So now you're actually picking up on the way the building curves around, even though the, you'll get to enjoy the curved walls in the bathroom. And I love the architecture pantry. That's what I, I said Brad's going to like the pantry the most. Look at this. Oh, my God. Now you got a place to put all your stuff. So it's not, I mean, there's no closets in this entire nope. building. Yeah, so now we got a, a closet, big pantry, big pantry and kitchen. Super-sized kitchen, yep. which this makes the most sense. We thought and on paper it looked like you had plenty of room to put this behind the bathroom yep. or in front of it. This, I'm glad to see you did yeah, this. Yeah, so. stretched it out a little bit. Right. We got the bathroom. I got to make sure you're okay oh. with the bathroom. We didn't, honestly, we didn't move anything around in the bathroom, uh, but we made it to spec, which is what you were saying, five by nine. Hey, and, you got Joe here. You yeah, stole you, you stole Joe from I stole my job Joe. site. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it all. Yeah. If I know my subs are missing, I'm calling you. Yeah, Andrew. exactly. They're always at your job. So, so shower back here. Okay, so walk around shower. 30, 36 inch shower. Are you gonna put make this like all fiberglass? Or yeah, just like a big insert. Perfect, because then no sense of spending money on tile. Yep. Just do the the panel system. And then we got toilet. Okay. Right there. We already cleared down so beneath. It'll look and fine. Then and then it looks the, like you got room for the vanity. A four foot vanity, or? vanity. I think we had 36. Yeah, 36. I think we had 30. Yeah, 36 is right there. Yeah. So yep. That's plenty. It's hard to get stuff down the stairs. So. Yeah, yeah. And then, so we're thinking bedrooms over here now. Are not you, not over there. Bedrooms over but here. No walls. No walls. Kinda, Open. And that, you know, Banjo, I saw that where he sleeps in the nude. Yeah, he does. Yeah. You should think about walls. We might. Yeah. Maybe he'll sleep in the bathroom or the closet. closet he can yeah. sleep in the closet. Pantry. Yeah, the pantry. Oh my god. And then pr movie projector over there and some type of couch furniture setting. Okay, but what down about this iconic the tub? tub? Is well, that we gotta <laughs> figure out. We gotta figure that out. The tub's gotta go somewhere. Man, they don't make them like this. This yeah. thing, it's all total. It's cast iron. Yeah. So yeah. can you incorporate it into something? You know, I don't know. A we'll big, see if we can get rid of it. A urinal. Maybe a urinal. And what's going to happen on this I think, side? This I'm thinking like a dining table. Dining table. Yeah. So I, I can't convince you to put a wall in for a bedroom? Yeah. Not As of right now, no. Okay. No. Time, <laughs> budget, is that what we're after? Yeah, time and budget, and yeah, I don't think I don't think we need walls for the bedroom. Okay. Last time I was here, there was wires hanging all yeah, over look, the place. Yeah, look. Joe got it all tidied up, and we pulled all new electrical through this. So all that got pulled through. This is all brand new electrical, and then this is the main. We actually tacked it up. It's not sitting well, there by a two by four. I think that's the smartest thing you could do because last thing you need is electrical fire. Down yeah, there. that wouldn't be ideal. Yeah. No. So you got a good guy, Joe, here keeping things safe. That's right. Any anything we're doing wrong? You, you is this a, is this? No, I'm just. Brad Builder uh, approved. I think it's Brad to Builder approved. It looks great. I'm all for. I tend to overdo stuff, so that's why I'm pushing for another bedroom wall or something. But I think it, we want to leave it nice and open. Yeah. All for right. now. Well, the idea there, if you have multiple people or somebody goes to bed, true, they can go to bed. You can, otherwise, when the lights are out in this it's place, out. it is out. Everybody has the same yeah. bedtime. You got to start wearing a light on your head to find your way around. Exactly. How do you do that at night? Where's the light switch? Yeah, we don't. Right now, we don't have any. Oh, yeah. yeah get Joe's got. Joe, Joe, yeah, Joe will get it figured out. All right, maybe it's one of these, and the lights come on. I think we need to do the, that. The old clapper. Yeah. Joe, we need a clapper. Uh, we got everything ready, the drywall's done, it's been mudded, it's actually been primed, and now we are ready for the paint. So we've got the walls, all of these walls here are gonna be kind of a light gray, 
and then the ceiling is going to be black and it's going to help kind of hide everything so we got two sprayers we're we're going hard we're going to see how fast we can get this sucker done uh, it's about 11 in the morning right now so we'll see what time we get out of here but we got two big sprayers and then jake and i are going to tackle a little smaller project which is this here and this is the center column and we think it'd be cool to do black and yellow stripes, like caution, like a big caution cone. Like basically it looks like, you know, a nuke type looking symbol thing. So we're gonna kind of hand brush and hand paint this while Pop Beefcake and Uncle Beefcake do all the spraying. Uncle Beefcake's gonna do the ceilings black, Pop Beefcake's gonna do the walls gray, and Jake and I are gonna hand paint black and yellow stripes. You can see we start with the yellow, then it goes black, yellow, all the way down. It's gonna look sweet. You guys stay tuned. Didn't know you were Picasso over here. Oh God, yeah. Sheesh, lines over here. look at them clean lines. Well, that's it, folks. It is painted. The entire missile silo has been painted. All the walls, all the ceiling, all of the drywall, and then look at this. Welcome to the beehive, folks. That's what it looks like. I think, I think we made the right call. You guys let us know. Was it a good call doing this? Should we have done something different? I just, something told me. Okay, black, yellow, safety caution. And it looks like that, I mean, First off, who has missiles? Second off, who has one that looks like that? I think this is a one of one in the world. I don't think there's any of them. I wanted it to look so different. Everyone's gonna know when they see this photo of this, that this is the beefcake style. So um, that's it for today's episode. We're gonna end it. The next thing you guys gonna look forward to are, we gotta get the kitchen going, which means we gotta get the cabinets put in. We gotta get the floor in. We gotta get the toilet. We gotta get the sink. We gotta get the shower and finish some of this a little electrical stuff but that's pretty much it for episode two um we're gonna try to get as much of that stuff done in the next couple weeks as possible and then episode three you're gonna have to look forward to we're just gonna straight up furnish thing we're thinking still movie projector projecting over there couch bunk beds we've got a big chain there uncle beefcake you wanted a bungalow there or something. So, so, something. <laughs> like, a, like a wicker like a wicker bungalow that like floats that floats right there, because you just put it on that chain right there. I think it'd be cool, but we need you guys' help in the comment section down below. What else should we add? What are we missing? I mean, this is the biggest thing. This was priority on number one on my list was this. So this is done, um, and so we're we're making progress. It's only three days into this, and it already looks significantly different. Yeah, we got wall. Significantly different. It's looking good. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>